Hey guys, it's Corey from Aquarium Co-op. Today I want to talk about fancy guppies. My favorite fish. I am a fancy guppy nerd, and so I'm going to tell you about how to keep them alive and, uh, you know, tips and tricks. So, you know, the fancy guppy is stranger to no one. Everyone's seen fancy guppies in a store at some point or another. These are what we have here. The things to know, they like hard water, they like higher pH. If you're not giving them that, they'll fall apart. So I usually want to see them in at least 7.2 pH, if not 7.5. I want lots of hardness, they just do better that way. Uh, the males have all the color typically. You can get some females that have some decent color, but the males have what's called a gonopodium, so a little stick-like fin on the bottom of the fish. The females uh, are going to be less colorful, like this yellow one you, you see in here. And they also, so on the bottom, they have a triangle fin. So on the bottom, trying to get it on there for you, the bottom fin is a triangle as opposed to that little stick fin. And so like this tequila sunrise, little stick fin there as you can see. And then if I can find that female again, where'd she go? Well there is, there she is. Right here, this yellow female, triangle fin by the anal. Uh, so that's how you sex them. So color and then, you know, that fin is a much better determination, but you always want to keep more females than males. A good ratio to keep in mind is two or three females for every male you have. Now once you get up past 10, 12, 15 guppies, that ratio doesn't matter as much anymore because there's enough to spread it around. These guys are a live bearer, so if you set your tank up correctly with lots of hiding places and things like that, you will produce babies typically. Very easy to feed, will eat almost anything. So you can use flake food, you can use frozen foods, you can use pellets, they will eat almost anything. They'll pick at algae, uh, which that's nice. You can see them doing that on the filter. They were picking at some algae there. Great for a planet tank because they show off all that color against your green backdrop. Um, there's also specialized things like, uh, you know, strains of guppies that you can be breeding that stay true. Um, and there's basically a color, if you can think of a color, there's a guppy out there that matches it. They tend to be relatively cheap, you know. We've got them at four bucks here. Uh, they could be as cheap as two or three or as much as, you know, a few hundred dollars if it's a specialty strain. Um, I would say smallest tank you really want to keep guppies in is a five gallon, and that's if you had like just a trio, a male and two females. But really a ten gallon or more, 20, 30, 40, 50 gallons, all those are better. A fancy guppy tank, whether you're a seasoned hobbyist or you're just getting into it, it's gonna it's gonna be impressive to everyone. Now, people say, oh, I'm not gonna do guppies, they're so overdone. You know, the reason they're overdone is because everyone loves them and it makes a great display. The things you want to watch out for is don't keep them too cold. Some people say, well, you don't have to heat guppies. You do. All these guppies are highly inbred to get these colors, and so they really do like to be 78 to 80. Um, so keep them warm, keep them well fed, keep their water clean. That's an important part. A lot of people, they let it overcrowd, they feed too much, they're trying to save all the babies and they get poor water quality. Then you get bacterial infections and things like that and the guppies really just start going downhill. So you want to keep them healthy uh, by keeping their water clean. They do great with most types of fish, Corydoras, peaceful tetras like neon, stuff like that. You wouldn't want to put them with uh, other aggressive species, so like let's say red-tailed sharks, um, barbs, like tiger barbs, you wouldn't want to put them with any aggressive tetras. Nothing's going to tear at their fins. So this is you know, definitely what you want for a peaceful aquarium. Lots of color, cheap, easy to maintain. Um, you know, if you don't, if you're setting up a tank for guppies, my recommendation is go ahead and use crushed coral as a substrate. Add minerals to the water so that it stays hard, and you'll have the best looking guppies that anyone's ever seen. And uh, that's a good thing. And you'll enjoy it. And you'll make more. You'll never run out. As long as you keep them healthy and you don't kill them, they will always be producing more. You can hand them to your friends, things like that. So fancy guppies. One of the best fish. My personal favorite fish. If I had to pick one fish I could ever keep again, it would be fancy guppies because it gives me every color, gives me options, I can breed them, I enjoy it. Every day I love my guppy tank. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to check out other species videos like this. We do uh, 
educational videos on bigger topics. We go see people's fish rooms, things like that. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.